Hello my friends, Wiggle here. Battery on this camera has been acting goofy, so I never finished um, my tips and so forth on the last video, but I will get that today. Apologize for that. Technical difficulty. I do have like two spare batteries. I just didn't go find them. So I was just busy working. So it's kind of a peaceful Sunday morning now. So I'm going to show you what I've, I've been working on. This is my white oak fence. Predominantly white oak. I think there's some red oak in there too. Um, other side of the silo looking thing there, which is my water tank. Um, that's all permanent fence. That's definitely white oak. Uh, that's going to stay. These are like slabs that I'm going to try to sell. So they're between uh, five and six feet. And I'm making this uh, divider privacy fence. And I'm doing a shadow box. So I'll butt them up as tight as they'll go on this side. And then on the other side, I'll do the same thing. So there'll be gaps in the fence, but it will be a solid uh, privacy screen when it's done. And it gives me twice as much space to put these uh, slabs. These are kind of the, the outer parts of the trees that I cut off. A lot of times they don't know what to do with them or they sell them for firewood. I'm going to turn them into live edge slabs. So I'm going to hang them on the fence and let them dry. Put a price on them, let people come out and just pick them out. And I'm going to like put bargain prices on them. So it makes it worth the drive and they can come out and pick them up and do various projects with them because it is white oaks. White oaks are um, a little harder to find these days because they're making railroad ties and barrels out of it. So all the really good logs are going to that. And white oak is what they make ships out of old in the old days and it, it's a closed cell oak so it is water resistant. So the water doesn't get in there. Other oaks will absorb water. Black oaks, red oaks, scarlet oaks, you know. And a lot of the other ones will. But white oak and the ones, they're specific. White oak is kind of a general term for like, I think like 20 different species. But white oaks don't absorb water. So the point being is if you keep them off the ground like I'm doing, those pickets will last a long time. They will really weather well, though. They'll hang in there for a long time. They will rot if they touch the ground. But other than that, they'll, they'll give you good performance. That's what that little skirt uh, skin for that tower is made out of there. It's white oak. So, And I'm making all the runners out of white oak. So they will last. And those are old pressure-treated posts. So I think the fence will last as long as the post, but I don't know. So anyway, the, the point of this privacy screen it's going to run along here and then I'm going to bring it out here to block screen from the road and this little part here is where I'm going to put intern housing which are the little see that thing down there that right there and then there's another one beside it that hasn't been converted yet so I'm going to convert that other one. I'm going to move that one up here. And then over here, get this little bit bigger one. I'm going to convert that. And they're all going to have wood siding. They're going to look nice. So that one will be kind of an oddball. I did it with store-bought materials. The gray siding on it. But I might even just slap some uh, barn board on there just to make it all match. That's, I'm going to put barn board on the house. I'm going to make everything barn board around here so it all matches and looks good. And don't have to really paint it or anything like that. Low maintenance. So metal roofs, galvanized metal roofs, and unpainted barn board. So the only thing you really have to do is the doors, which I haven't done yet. The windows are all vinyl, so just not a lot of painting or maintenance, which I prefer. Have enough trouble just keeping up with gutters and soffits and roofs and stuff around here. Just the way it is. Everything wants to leak all the time. Anyway. So I'm going to get this fence built and move these things over. And I've kind of prioritized this. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm going to get some work done. I will get some work in the garden done and I will show you my tips that I promised. But later today, right now, I'm just going to work on this fence for a little bit. I just need to get this done 
and move on to something else. So there is so much to do around here. So I will talk to you later. Wiggle out.